Hey, it's me, Raika. Today we're going to have a look at the brand new season of The Heroes of Asperia. Now, this is a PvP ladder ranking system where each time you rank up in this specific event, you'll be able to get some of these fantastic rewards for your account. So let's say you are currently in the diamond rank. You'll be able to get 10 of these hero scroll choice chests, which have you can choose from either five normal summoning scrolls or three faction summoning scrolls. Now, this leads to a total of 50 normal summoning scrolls and 30 faction scrolls for your account. In addition, you can also get 10 time gazing tickets and two stone choice chairs to upgrade your hero's gear. Now, you'll need the specific resource called trophies. Now, each time you defeat an opponent, you'll get a certain amount of trophies. Now, as you get more and more of these trophies, you'll be able to go from one division into the next. Now, as we can see, there's a certain amount required for each division. And as you get more of these trophies, the amount of rewards that you get increases as well. Now, there are additional rewards such as the champion bounties. Each time you complete a couple of these quests, such as finishing a couple of battles, claiming a couple of victories, getting into the next division, such as silver, gold, diamond, or star division, you'll be able to rank up your gem laurel over here. Now you'll be able to get faction scrolls, then blue summoning scrolls, and also normal summoning scrolls as well for your account. Now, the higher and higher this level is for your little level over here, for your champion's bounty, you'll be able to get all of these rewards for your account. Now, in addition to this, you also get these specific frames depending on how many of these gem points that you have. So the more points over here that you have, the more frames you'll be able to acquire. So let's say in my case over here, I've gotten 2,000 of these gem points over here. You'll be able to acquire all of these frames shown below. Now you get these specific points or league point rewards depending on what division you're currently placed. So as we can see, for the master division, you get 200 league point rewards. Now, this specific hero of Asperia has this unique buff that applies to it. So once you're in the diamond league and above, during battle, the cooldown of hero ultimate skill becomes seven seconds long. The damage caused by their crit is increased by 30% and the damage not caused by their crit is reduced by 40%. So what this means is any hero that does a lot of damage through their normal attacks or through their abilities can deal a significantly more damage if they are able to crit on the enemy. A target hit by a crit is unable to receive health regeneration for the next six seconds. So in addition to this, any allied hero that can provide a significant amount of shields might be extremely effective in this game mode. And this effect can only be triggered once every nine seconds. So this is a permanent buff that applies to all of your heroes once you are in diamond and above. So let's head in and see what this Heroes of Spirit is all about. So I'm currently in the Silver Division. So when you begin, you need to set up your team's formations or your defensive team formations. So as we can see, I'm currently in Silver and it requires three teams. Now you can mix and match your teams to how you please. And essentially you want to set up the strongest possible teams that essentially can make the most out of the buff that is currently available. So once you've set up your teams and you're happy, now these are your defensive teams. So this is any time when an enemy is attacking your allies, they will encounter these teams shown below. Now, once you're happy, then you can start on fight. So you can select the opponent over here. So let's say I've chosen this opponent over here. Now you have to set up your teams below. So you can essentially set up your best possible teams. So I'm gonna set up my best team currently that I have. All right, I've set up my first team. Now this is the second team that I have. So I'm gonna put in another hero over here. And this is my third team over here. Now, once you have set up all your teams respectively, then you can click begin and the battle will begin. Now, all of these battles are on automatic. So you can't essentially time your ultimates when you would like to use them. So you can essentially skip through these battles. So you can essentially click skip 
and you can see that you've ranked up, gaining a couple of trophies, and you can get more rewards. Now, each time you complete a battle, now these are the first three battles of the day, you'll get some of these rewards, such as in this case, I got a bit of EXP for my account. There we go. I ranked up from this rank over here into this specific trophy ranking. Now, then you look for a, another opponent over here. All right, you are happy. You click battle and then the battle begin. There we go, another victory, and now I can progress even further. So you keep on doing this multiple times, and you rank up into the next division over here. There we go. So you can simply skip these battles to speed up your progress as you climb the rankings of the specific event. There we go, defeated this opponent over here, and now I've ranked up into the next division. So I was previously in the silver, and now I am in the gold division. So, as we can see, each time you rank up, they have these small little rewards over here. So, we can see we can get a bit of gold. Then this is a choice chest over here. And you can collect all in the once you click on this button over here. Now, this will give you all of the previous rewards from the previous ranks. So, this choice chest can give you a bit of primordial and amplifying emblems, a bit of outer tree essence, and engraving materials for your heroes. In addition, we have another hero choice chest now this is once you get even further which also gives you a bit of power coins and red emblem choice chests as well then we have a bit of gold a bit of purple and blue stones as well now then higher and higher ranking that you get the more rewards that you will be able to acquire so as we can see i've leveled up in a couple of quests over here so you simply click on collect on the quest that you have completed and this will rank up your little champion's bounty over here then you click on collect all and you get all the rewards listed here. 